right then. The only thing we really want to see go up, temperatures, Josh. <laughs> a little, little chilly out there today for some of us. Yeah, especially if you wanted to jump in the pool or maybe uh, jump in the lake and do a little bit of swimming. This is uh, not exactly what you'd call ideal. In fact, the air is so dry that the water would just evaporate off your skin in, in just uh, microseconds, practically. Uh, today's high temperature 71 after an overnight low of 50. Let's talk about your weather headlines. There is some warmer weather on the way that will actually coincide with the beginning of summer. This evening, though, definitely on the cooler side, you'll notice some high clouds. Temperatures will drop overnight close to 50. I wouldn't be shocked to still see some uh, 40s, uh, especially in the western southern tier. Tomorrow, not the sunny sensation that we saw today. There will be some showers later at night. The day is dry, and yes, we mark the beginning of summer on Tuesday with the summer solstice at 514 a.m. Here is your planner for Monday. Temperatures again top out probably in the upper 60s to near 70. The wind comes in out of the southwest off the Big Lake, so it'll be coolest in Metro Buffalo, a little bit warmer off to the north. We need some rain. Check out these rainfall statistics. Seven days in a row now in Buffalo with zero rainfall in the gauge. Only six measurable days so far all month. And if we go back to March 1st, we actually are running a rainfall deficit in excess of an inch. So we could actually use some moisture for our lawns, our gardens, and our farm fields. High pressure in the middle of the country. It is hot. Hot, hot. We're talking about triple digit high temperatures here. Some of that heat is making its way off to the north as we head into this week. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. I don't think temperatures though will get much above 90 uh, as far as their peak. That would happen on Wednesday. Dew point temperatures are going to be climbing in a big way later tomorrow and into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then they come down with a cold front. So uh, the air will dry out. The air was really dry here in Buffalo when the wind was coming in out of the northwest. It's just a little bit more uh, 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 amplified with moisture at this point with the wind off the water. 67 degrees right now, 65 in Alden, 61 in Cattaraugus. There's the warm front. There are some showers out ahead of it. The clouds also are on the increase as well. So you'll notice that, especially for later tonight. Our hour by hour forecast keeps it dry. Tomorrow we'll see at least some partial sunshine. Then the clouds will thicken up into the afternoon and later on at night, a shower thunderstorm does seem to be in the cards. So we'll be watching for that as well. So again, the call for tonight, some high clouds. We're down to 59 in Buffalo, 50 in the southern tier. Tomorrow, an increase in clouds, a spot shower by evening. Your top temp in Buffalo at 71. A little bit warmer across the Niagara frontier. We're into, uh, oh, the mid 70s in Lockport down to the western southern tier. We go into Salamanca. Your top temp for tomorrow at 65. Have a check of that super seven day forecast. Your top temp for Tuesday at 82 degrees. Again, tomorrow, low 70s should do it. And look at that. Wednesday, toasty times return, 88 the high. And icky and sticky are back as well. A sun cloud mixture for Thursday, a little less humid. Where the weather looks pretty quiet until the beginning of the weekend. Might get a couple of thunderstorms by the time we get to Sunday. Yeah. Whatever moisture we can get now, actually, I think the farms and the gardens they will need appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait for icky and sticky. Two yeah. of my favorite To your favorite friends. People. Yeah, <laughs> not yours, though. They, they have places at the dinner table. Yeah. Yes, yes, they do. All right, thank you so much.